Uh, Lindsay is standing by now. I do believe there's some paint and Jeff Monsine involved. Lindsay? Thank you. Now, chances are you have a tired and decrepit piece of lawn furniture lying around or just an old clay pot. But rather than tossing them out, how about sprucing them up? Adding a little flair, and so Jeff Monsine, Daytime's resident decorative artist from Splat Paint, is going to show us how to do it, and it's really easy. It is, and it's fun to paint just about everything. It is, and let's start off with this old lawn chair. Right. Many of us have seen, you know, plastic lawn chairs all around, right. but you gave them some fun colors, as you can see in these images. Right, and if you go to the big, the big home stores, they've got tons of different colors that you can choose from. And you just spray two coats of paint on it, and voila, it's done. And that's it. You that's don't have it. to get any kind of special spray paint. Does it have to be outdoor? Well, these paints that, that we're, we're showing right here are actually made for plastic. So you don't have to prime. You don't have to sand. You just clean your chairs and spray. And then you can have a lot of fun with them in your outdoor Absolutely. parties. Okay, Absolutely. cool. I like the orange one. It's nice. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about this. This was just an old pot that you had lying around your house, as I had mentioned I, earlier. I did, and my wife mosaiced it. She, she uh, attached broken tiles to it and then grouted it, and um, we've done that all around the house. I mean, there's fun projects to do. And, you know, you can get these uh, broken tiles. You can go to any tile store, and, the, you know, they'll give you the Absolutely. old ones. They don't want those anyway. That's right. And that's a really neat, and there's kits that you can get from craft stores as well mm -hmm. to learn how to do that. All right, now let's get to sprucing up some pots. If okay. you've got some just regular plastic pots, okay. pots lying around. These what, what kind of pots were those? Plastic pots. Okay. pots. <laughs> these are, um, these, these were actually orange shiny pots originally. Wow. And um, this one we used a, um, a spray aerosol and that has a um, stone effect to it. So it actually feels like stone. It's got a texture to it. Oh, and uh, you can always find those at the, you know, the home goods stores because Absolutely. you can just feel the top like this. Absolutely. And you just spray it right over the plastic. And then um, I also added a little bit of extra paint just to kind of age it up a little bit, a little bit of you know, oh, mossiness okay. to it. Give it the mossiness, the right. moldiness, if right. you will. Right. And actually, one, one helpful hint, if you want something to really look old quickly and it's going to go outside, yeah. put some yogurt on it. And yogurt, yogurt. Will, yogurt will make it age really quickly because it's bacteria. I don't know why, but it just does. Okay, and you just smear the yogurt just, all over? Yeah, and it'll turn green and crusty and look old. <laughs> wow, that's a really good tip because a lot of us yeah. have old yogurt in our fridge. I'll tell you that one. <laughs> now, this one has more of a gloss to it. it right. Did you paint it bronze? So this was a, a black paint first and then dry brush. Just took a brush and just lightly washed a little bit of the metallic paint over it. Huh. Okay, and you can just pick up any kind of metallic paint or does this, again, have to be outdoor paint? Um, well, outdoor paint, I guess, would be best, but, you know, it's just a pot, and if it gets messed up, just put a little more paint on it. That's right. It was a $2 pot. So right. Just we don't need to go crazy That's about right. that. All right. Let's look at this one, because you're going to add something to this pot. Okay. This was a pot that we sprayed on metallic, and this is um, a hammered metal, and um, whenever you're spraying aerosols, do make sure that you do it outside. The stuff isn't good to breathe, so spray you it away from yourself. wear a face mask as well? Wear a mask, spray away from yourself. It's Probably going to get on your clothes, so don't wear good clothes. Gotcha. And then after we sprayed it, you do two thin coats rather than one heavy gloopy coat. Okay, yeah, because if you get also too close, the nozzle too close to the item, right. it leaves these really splotchy marks and it drip marks. It's not very... Right. And then I, this nice. could have just been a, a happy, shiny pot, but I wanted to age it a little bit because I do that. And so, just for fun, just add a little bit more paint on the side of it and oh. it looks old. So it doesn't have to be in any kind of... No proper order or no, go along with any no. structure and that's that's our pot and that's it's just really add a little bit of age to it and a little bit of metallic and so chances are you're going to probably spend more on spray paint and <laughs> and texture paint but you know what you're making you're making do you're recycling an old piece of absolutely. furniture or a pot absolutely hey jeff munson thanks so much it's good to see pleasure. you here we appreciate it always fun we'll be right back Stop the walkers.